Hello all. Today we are lucky to be joined by Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York City. Thanks for coming, Mr. Mayor. Let's get right into it, shall we? The killings of Michael Brown and Eric Garner have subjected police forces nationwide to unprecedented scrutiny, New York City most of all. Many say that these things would never have happened if minorities were better represented on the country's police forces. Do you agree with that? We've tried very hard to make the police force in New York City as proportionate as we possibly can. We go out of our way to do that. I think we do a pretty good job, not a perfect job. The fact is, I, I find it very disappointing that you're not discussing the fact that 93% of blacks in America are killed by other blacks. We're talking about the exception here. And 83% of whites are killed by other whites. What is your point, exactly? Most people are killed by people they know. And most people mostly know people of the same race. Are you trying to make some kind of point about violence in black neighborhoods or something? It is the reason for the heavy police presence in the black community. It's hardly insignificant. Take police this. officers won't be there if you weren't killing each look other. At I thought you might bring up violence, so let's take a look at what your police officers are actually doing in black neighborhoods. New York City cops made over 318,000 arrests in 2013. Less than 9% of those arrests were for violent offenses. 25% of the arrests are for nonviolent drug crimes. And we all know it's not bankers and hipsters getting arrested for that. Drug laws are only enforced in black and Hispanic neighborhoods. Your police are making life harder for those whose lives are already very difficult. Many of these arrests end up breaking up families or knocking people off of the path to the middle class. Your police officers may not be racist, but their orders definitely are. What about the poor black child that is killed by another black child? Well, maybe it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't sent the father of that other black child to jail for selling marijuana. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Mr. Mayor. And thank you to all of you for watching. Uh, I'd be grateful if you subscribed.